Oh my. Okay, Sony. Just, just swinging, just swinging that thing, just all over. Excuse me, Canon. Hi, Nikon. Excuse me, sir, do you guys sell quadruple X underwear? They just created something really special. I wanna talk about it. Give me everything, yeah. I need, uh, I need everything. I need what is going on, everybody? Day, I hope yeah. everybody's having themselves a great day today. Sony did something special here. The RX100 Mark VII. I knew this camera was dropping today. But I gotta be honest, I completely expected it to be a bust. There were some leaks that came out. If you follow any of the rumor websites, you might have saw some of the leaks that have dropped over the last few days. And it didn't look like anything impressive. All of a sudden, Sony dropped three things that we didn't know about in the leaks. A, microphone jack. Yes. B, good image stabilization. They upped that image stabilization and now it's available in 4K. If you ever tried it in 1080p with either active or intelligent active steady shot turned on in the settings, you know that the image stabilization is pretty great. It's not like Osmo action or gimbal status, but it's pretty great. And now we have it in 4K along with no 4K record time limit. And apparently this is a brand new one inch sensor by Sony, so it might probably be more fantastic than it already was. And with the Sony a6400, what I've been doing is just strapping it up to my Zhiyun Weeble Lab with the Sigma 16 f1.4. And I love this setup. And as for a APS-C type of camera and a gimbal, it's really not that cumbersome. This is pretty lightweight for a gimbal and the camera's pretty lightweight. The lens, you know, it has a little tiny bit of weight to it, but nothing overwhelming. So this is why a lot of times as of late, especially on these super duper hot humid days out, if I'm outdoors walking around or doing whatever, you've been seeing me a lot more on my Osmo action. And that's only because of the easy use of it. And like I said, it has really good image quality for an action camera. But now, just with the addition of the external mic jack and just with the addition of the 4K image stabilization that has now been improved, I got everything I need. That could be your A camera. If you're just a YouTuber and you don't do anything professional on the side, this RX100 could be your A camera if you approach it right and depending on what you do as a YouTuber. I, it's probably good indoors, especially with good lighting. We're definitely gonna do a test with it once I get it in my hand. Um, but still, I think that's more of an outdoors camera or you know, indoors, maybe a well-lit museum or something like that. I wouldn't use it in a studio situation. But you could, and you could have really good image quality. It's just, I have the A6400, so, you know, this it's really the best of both worlds. Now the A6400 can be mainly my workhorse and my studio camera, and when I go out on a daily basis, that RX100 Mark VII is gonna come with me everywhere I go, along with probably three, maybe four spare batteries. And those batteries are so small anyway, you just put them in a, Put them, I'm telling you guys, listen, for any creators out there that have struggled with carrying around a lot of gear and know that a backpack isn't really great for every situation, it sucks on your back, you know, sometimes the backpack, you only wanna carry this much and you still gotta carry a backpack this big. I'm telling you guys, invest in a fanny pack. I know, I number one, I like the way it looks. Uh, I, I, I love fanny packs. I own probably about four of them. I have a go-to one, I'll show you in one second. This video is going way off topic here, but we're just going with the flow. So if you're sticking with, God bless. So this is my go-to fanny pack right here. And I actually got this from Aldo. It's not even, it's not even a, a designer brand or anything like that. I mean, I guess you could consider Aldo shoes a designer brand, but it was like 32 bucks. It's so well built, it's huge. I mean, I could probably fit an A6400 in here without a lens, the RX100 in here with the A6400, and an ND filter and probably the Osmo Action just inside of this thing. And you know, it's comfortable and you don't have to wear it around your waist if that's not your style or that's not what you're cool with. Sometimes I just throw it over my shoulder. Sometimes I just leave it in the back seat of the car if I'm driving from location to location or wherever it is. So a fanny pack is phenomenal if you're out being a creator and you have little accessories and you know, maybe a little point and shoot camera. 
I don't, I don't really, the reason why I got this was to protect my cameras. I don't feel comfortable leaving pocket cameras actually inside my pocket. I keep keys. I always got loose change or whatever, which I can't stand. You know, I don't want to scratch it up. I don't want it to slide out the side. You know, I like fitted pants. I don't wear no baggy pants. So when you have tighter pants on and you have something big and bulgy in your pocket, it's going to fall out. You know, there's a good chance it could fall out. Getting in and out of the car, especially if you have like, I wear a lot of Adidas track pants I've had phones just slip right out of my pocket as I'm getting out the car so if you're a creator you might want to think about investing in some kind of fanny pack no record time limit in 4k which is so wonderful you just record until the batteries run out you just keep some spare batteries on you and really it's on you it's either gonna be the batteries or the SD card that's gonna go but the camera ain't gonna stop it's just gonna keep going this is great this is phenomenal you understand this is, they've made everything that's cumbersome, not cumbersome anymore. The mic jack. Now, let me tell you what the thing is with the microphone jack and why this is so important. With this camera, the widest you can go is 24 millimeters. Yeah, I can vlog with 24 millimeters, which I like to do on my A6400 with my Sigma 16. With the APS-C crop, it's actually a 24 millimeter lens. So I can vlog with that, but when I vlog with that, I much rather prefer a really shallow depth of field if it's going to be a tighter shot i want that background that you can't really see anyway because it's not such a wide shot to be completely blurry as blurry as possible because you can't see it anyway it's not a wide shot but when i have a wider shot i actually don't mind if the background isn't blown out i think it looks nice when you could actually make out the scenery behind you as long as you're in focus I have no problem with a wider shot not being so blurry. I think it looks really nice, especially if you have nice scenery around you. So the reason why an audio jack on a camera this small and lightweight and portable is so important, especially when it has a limit as to how wide you can get that field of view, is because now you can throw it on a grip comfortably and a grip much longer than this one something that might extend out a little bit so now you can get that maybe 15 16 18 20 mil look on a 24 mil lens and still have good audio see without that microphone jack you're getting a lot further from the tiny little garbage onboard mics that come with the camera so now you have to scream there's more wind in between you and the camera it just doesn't sound it doesn't work it's not it's not a good combination for audio when you're vlogging to be that far from a tiny little you know mediocre microphone but now you throw something like a wireless microphone the Rode wireless go on yourself a lapel mic or just even a really good you know like a Rode video micro it'll still pick up that distance way better than the onboard mics so now you can extend it and you can get a wider field of view as far as an nd filter i don't care too much about the nd filter sure if it was in there i'd be happy that it was in there but really regardless whether it's in there or not I'm still gonna get myself, they make third party, they're adhesive mounts, they're little plastic mounts that are designed specifically for the RX100 series, the Canon G7X, I mean, there's a, a bunch of them. I am one of the companies is called Lensmate, which I've used in the past and I like them. This isn't a promotion, I'm just hooking you guys up. So if you're worried just about the no ND filter thing, you could just buy a third party lens mount on like Amazon or something like that or eBay and just look it up it's lens mate it's an adhesive that you just attach to the front of the lens and then you can put on any ND filter you want so I'd rather I'd probably go that route whether there was a built-in one or not so it really doesn't bother me because I'm just gonna put a variable ND on the front of that and call it a day right now it is almost 12 30 in the afternoon I believe it goes up for pre-order at 6 p.m. Eastern I will be pre-ordering mine and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. I was completely ready to bag on it, pleasantly surprised. Sony, congratulations, you just did your damn job and you've given us maybe, possibly, one of the best vlogging cameras to date. Maybe, we'll see. Anyway, enough of me babbling. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts? And if you're gonna give your opinion on it, let me know what it is you actually do. You know, if, if you really want it, why do you want it? Are you a content creator? Are you a photographer? What, what is the reason why you do or don't want it? Because to me, this camera brings almost everything to the table. As the Instagram, make sure you follow me. If for some reason you like this video, give it a thumbs up for me. If you are not yet subscribed, please do so. I'd appreciate that highly, especially if you are interested in upcoming videos of the Sony RX100 Mark 7. I will have mine in hand on day one of the release. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I will see you next time. Salute. Resume.
is a heavyweight, yeah Put it on my back, give me everything, yeah I need, uh, I need everything, I need all of everything